Welcome at Tech Talk episode 6. Here I will try to answer as many technical questions you have on our products. If you have any questions for the next episode, please leave them at the comments bar and I will try to answer them next time. The first question is coming from John McRae. John McRae has a question about the remote ports on our products. Some of our products have a remote terminal and with the remote terminal you can switch the unit on and off by a relay or by a, a, a remote switch. And that's a special kind of remote port because uh, there are several ways that you can switch the unit off or on. A unit like this, as you can see, has a terminal which says H and L. And there's three options to switch this device. The first one is, as you can see, uh, with a jumper. If you remove the jumper and replace the jumper with a switch, you can switch the unit on and off. You can also do it at a different way. If you connect a plus from your car, for, from your engine or whatever, uh, to the H uh, terminal, you can also switch the unit off by switching off that plus. The third method is also that you can switch to the, the ground. So if you have the L uh, terminal port to ground, also the unit will switch on and off. So if you have a, a, a sensor, or oil pressure sensor or something, and you want to switch it on that, you can also use it uh, with that application. So basically the remote port can be used in three separate ways. The next question is coming from Flat Fred Kovac, and he is asking how to properly connect the inverter to the battery protect using the remote terminal. Well, as I explained before on the remote terminal, uh, the unit can be switched on and off by using the plus. That means on an inverter, you have to connect the battery protect output just on the plus of the terminal, so on the H terminal block. Then you can uh, use the battery protect to remotely switch on and off your, uh, your inverter or whatever else you have connected to it. The next question I have came from Case Midden. And Case is asking, I have a MultiPlus, a 12-1600, uh, and I build it in my camper van. And I was wondering about the RCD. Uh, as the van lacks the, the connection to ground, uh, is it so that the unit is working without any protection? Should I implement some other safety devices? In case it's like this, when you have an RCD in your van, the chassis acts as ground. That means that the RCD will work perfectly fine as long as you're in the van. If you're outside the van, the RCD will not work, of course. But luckily, most of the electrical appliances that we have are double isolated, so it doesn't really matter. As soon as you have non-double isolated applications, well, then an isolation watch or a, a, well, a connection between your chassis and the ground is needed to provide for safety. But normally, an RCD inside your van will be perfectly fine as long as you ground it to the chassis. The next question is coming from Steve Lamparta, and he is asking, I'd like to see Victron build a BMS for batteries other than Victron lithium batteries for people like myself who build their own battery banks using nothing but raw lithium cells. That would complete everything. I'm a huge fan of all Victron equipment, but I just missed this. Well, Steve, uh, I believe you can build your do-it-yourself batteries very well. The problem is that not all people can do that, and it's very critical for having a safe and reliable lithium system. And it is more than just to add a BMS to a couple of cells. Therefore, we have chosen not to be part of the do-it-yourself battery system. We truly believe that in the end, you are better off buying a complete Victron battery kit. Yes, I know the initial investment is higher, but this is designed to work and gives the maximum safety, reliability, and features which you have even overlap with other system components. The next question is coming from Neobreaker. Neobreaker is asking, what is the main difference between the smart shunt and the smart battery sense? Or should I have both? Well, the answer is, uh, on the smart shunt, you can calculate how much uh, energy you still have left in your batteries. So it detects how much amps goes in the battery and also how you discharge your battery. And with that, it can calculate how much percentage you still have left in your battery. It can also warn you if your battery comes too low. The smart battery sense is measuring volts and temperature and will forward this to a charger like an MPPT and it will be used to compensate for temperature and also for voltage. So by that, your charging will be uh, more optimal. But it will not indicate you how much capacity you have left in your battery. Thank you for watching. This was all for this episode. If you have any uh, questions for yourself, leave them at the comments bar and I will try to answer them next time. Bye bye.